With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? A uniform rod of mass m, length l, lies radially uh, on a disc rotating with angular velocity omega in a plane, uh, in a horizontal plane about vertical axis passing through the center of the disc. So this is about this axis, it is rotating with an angular velocity omega about the center. Now the rod does not slip on the disc and the center of the rod, it at a distance 2L from the center of the disc. Now it is given that its center, this from here to here. What is the distance? Distance is given as to be 2L. We need to find the kinetic energy of the rod. So kinetic energy of the rod would be what? Because it would be rotating, okay? It would also be rotating about the common center. So the kinetic energy of the rod would be equals to 1 divided by 2 i into omega square. But this moment of inertia about what? We can say that it is about the center of this. We can say that it is about C. Okay. Now, we know the moment of inertia of rod about its own center. Let's call this as to be O. Let's call the center of the disc to be O and its center to be C. Now, moment of inertia of rod about O about this point would be equals to moment of inertia of rod about center plus m into A square. What is A? A is the distance between the two. By parallel axis theorem, we can find this value, uh, uh, the moment of inertia value. So from here to here, distance is 2L. What is the moment of inertia of the rod about its center? It is m L square divided by 2L plus m. What is this A square? That means uh, 2L square, 4L square. So I value would turn out to be about O would turn out to be ML square we take to be common. We can take it to be common. Then it would be, uh, this is 4 and this is uh, uh, this uh, uh, 12. So it would be uh, 48 plus 1, that means 49. We can say that 49 divided by 12. Now the kinetic energy would be equals to 1 divided by 2 into I naught 49 by 12, uh, 49 by 12, 49 by 12 into M L square, omega square. So this would turn out to be 49 by 24 m omega square l square. So, which option would be the correct option? So, the correct option would be D. None of these. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.